Well, hello there, folks, and a very warm welcome, as usual, back to What's For Teen. It's lovely to see you again. So thanks for popping over for this week's video recipe. And tonight for pudding, we had this amazing summer trifle. It's just that wee bit lighter than your normal trifle because there's no custard in here. So it is a wee bit lighter and it's lovely for the summer because it's got white chocolate and it's got cream and mango and there's uh, orange jelly in here as well. It's just wonderful. I will pop all of the ingredients that I'm using in the description box underneath the video but I'll also put them on the screen as we go. So this is everything that I used here so I'll just go through these first of all. I've got some Madeira cake, I've got some orange jelly as well, I'm also using some double cream, I've got some lemon curd, I've got a few pieces of very ripe mango there as well, some vanilla essence, I've got some icing sugar or powdered sugar, I've got a couple of lemons and then I've also got some white chocolate curls just for the top for decoration. So the first thing we're going to do is get your cream ready and these are the ingredients that you're going to need for the cream. So grab yourself a big bowl because we're going to be using the hand whisker and you don't want it flying all over the place so pop your double cream in there or you can use heavy whipping cream if you prefer to that i'm going to add the icing sugar and also the vanilla extract and then the juice and zest of two lemons so just grab your hand whisk or your hand blender and you want to whisk this away for a couple of minutes you know until it goes nice and thick you don't want this like concrete you know we're not trying to make butter but you do want it nice and thick so that it holds its shape you know when you stir it around with a spatula it will hold its shape and be nice and stiff because we are going to split this in half you're going to use half for your trifle and the other half you're going to pop into a piping bag just for the top to make it look pretty and then this is the cake I'm using. This is just Madeira cake, but you can use any sort of vanilla sponge, really. It doesn't matter. I'm using an orange jelly. This is a standard jelly block, and I've added half a pint of cold water and half a pint of boiling water, and your end result will be lovely and loose, just like this. You want it nice and wobbly and not thick and leathery at all. So you're going to want to grab a big trifle bowl, or you can make individual trifles if you prefer. If you've got glasses, you know, something like that. It doesn't have to be a large bowl, but this is just what I'm using today. So pop your jelly into the bottom and you can see how loose that is. We do want it nice and loose. Like I said, you don't want it too thick. On top of that, I'm going to put the mango pieces. You can use, you know, pineapple, whatever you prefer. I just like the mango. And on top of that, I'm going to add the Madeira cake or whatever cake you decide to use. And then on top of that, I'm going to pop some lemon curd all the way around in a nice band. And then you can fill in the centre with the rest of your lemon curd. This is just going to act as a barrier, you know, to strengthen the bottom for the rest of your ingredients that you're going to put on the top. So this is nice and simple. Like I said, this is so easy. You know, you can knock this up in next to no time. On top of that, we're going to put the double cream. Like I said, it's nice and thick, but it's not going to fall through. So it's not runny at all, but not too stiff either. This is ideal. So just push that to the sides, make a wee well in the center because like I said, we are going to pipe some of that cream in the centre and it should be looking something like this with a nice thick layer of that lemon cream because it's absolutely beautiful. It's actually my favourite part of this summer trifle. You can use lemon jelly instead of the orange jelly if you prefer. And then I'm just going to, with the other half of my cream, I've popped this into a piping bag with a twist, twist nozzle and it's so easy to use. You just twist it from side to side and you get this lovely ribbon effect on the top. And the last thing I'm going to do is pop some white chocolate curls. And as you can see, it's absolutely wonderful. Now, I'll let you see in a second what it looks like inside. So pop this into the fridge for about half an hour just to set up and become nice and uniform. That way, when you cut in, it won't all slide all over the place. So do let me know if you're planning and giving that one a go. A very quick and easy one this time because a few of my recent ones have been a wee bit more complicated. So this one is nice and simple and absolutely perfect for this warm weather that we're having at the moment. And just before I leave you, I wanted to say, as usual, a huge thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. 
and for you all for watching. Leave in your lovely comments and for those that share the videos as well. It's all very much appreciated. And I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe or back on Saturday for our shopping unbagging or on Sunday for our meals of the week. So you take care and I'll see you off as soon. Back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.